When a school, when is a school bus not a school bus? <laughs> when it's full of bees. Uh, that's right, a Forsyth man taking a different approach to beekeeping. Andy Casaurus visited his hives to see what all the buzz is about. There aren't any students on these old school buses, but there are thousands of occupants. There used to be kids sitting in this bus, but now there's baby bees. Tracy Buff is the man behind the bee bus. He said he came up with the idea a couple years ago. A friend loaned him a bus and he went to work. So they're actually going in and out through the walls of the bus. It became a hobby for him. Well, a little bit more than a hobby. He moves the bees around to three different locations. Uh, some beekeepers that, that uh, don't migrate their hives actually have to feed their bees in the summer just to keep them alive. And Buff can take this bus anywhere. It's called migratory beekeeping. It helps keep the bees productive longer, making more honey and staying alive. While the bee bus may seem like a funny idea, Buff says that the fate of the bee population is nothing to laugh about. Unless people start taking care of bees right now, I don't think that wild bees are going to survive. So I think it's going to be entirely up to us to uh, try to learn how to uh, keep the bees healthy. The bees the buff cares for produce four different kinds of honey each year, and it sure is sweet to see nature doing its thing. Abby Kasorish, 13 WMAZ News. <gasps> Mr. Buff says he rotates the bus among the mountains in Blue Ridge, Georgia, Perry, and his home in Monroe County, and he will soon add a second one to the rotation.